Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to show you my entire Harry Potter mug collection. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, yes, I am going to be showing you my entire Harry Potter mug collection. I just counted them and I have a total of 27 mugs to show you. A few of them are actually teacups, but I want to show you all of them together. So let's go ahead and get started here because we've got a lot to go through. First, this is probably my most used mug and it's my Marauder's Map mug. I love this one. It has the Marauder's Map logo like right in the front. You can see the Whomping Willow. And then on the back, it says, I solemnly swear. I'm up to no good. <laughs> it is super cute. I love the little feet around it. It looks just like a map. The handle is brown and the inside of the mug is brown as well. And the bottom has the Wizarding World Harry Potter licensing information and it says Universal Orlando. So yeah, that is the first mug. Super gorgeous. Love this one and it's really big. I think this might be my biggest mug so it fits a lot of coffee in it and that's probably why I use this one the most. Actually I think I like. <laughs> this next mug is probably just as big but it's much wider instead of taller and it's my Honeydukes mug. So this is also from Universal. It has the Honeydukes logo on both sides and then the inside is this beautiful teal color which I love. And I use this one mostly for hot cocoa because it fits a lot of whipped cream on top. I get the marshmallows. It's the perfect hot cocoa mug. So these two are probably the same size, just different shapes. And I am obsessed. <laughs> so here is a close up of the Honeydukes mug. Next is my Butterbeer Barrel mug from Universal. It has the Butterbeer logo on both sides. I really love when the design is on both sides. So whether you're left handed or right handed, you can enjoy it. And then like if there's someone in front of you, they can see the design. The inside is just brown. So it kind of has that same color all around, but I love that it looks like a barrel. It's so gorgeous. Love the shape. It's a little more round. It's not as big as this Marauder's Map mug, so just for comparison. And I'm not gonna know all of the prices offhand. The ones from Universal usually range between $19 to $25. If I can find the prices, I will list them on the screen throughout the video. So just to help you guys out with that. This next mug is a Hogwarts alumni mug. I got this one at my most recent trip to Universal and it does have that on both sides, but this one's a little more special because it has a little design inside the cup as well. So it's just black, but it has a Hogwarts logo inside. And then of course the information on the bottom. This one still has a price tag on it, which is $21. So here is a close up of that mug and it has all the Hogwarts house mascots on here as well throughout the letters. I think that's so cute. And then here is that inside look of that Hogwarts crest inside the mug. Super cute. All right, next we have our Gryffindor mug from Universal. And I love that this one kind of looks like a crest design, but it has little emblems in here to kind of represent Gryffindor. And it has the like Gryffindor description on here as well. Determination, bravery, courage. There's a little crown on top. There's the Godric Gryffindor sword, and then also a phoenix as well. And then on the back side, it just says courage, determination, and bravery. Here is a close up of this mug. And this one also has a little detail inside. It's the Gryffindor lion, and it says Gryffindor below it, and it's just white inside. And I love the shape of this one because it's more tapered, so it's a little more fun than just like a typical mug. All right, next is gonna be the Hogwarts mug. So this one has the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios logo right on here. So this one is kind of more of like a keepsake mug, I would say, and it has the actual Hogwarts that you see at Universal, and it's so gorgeous. I love the boars that are in front and it's lit up. It's super gorgeous, and it looks like it's in a beautiful like night sky behind it. And the inside is just a deep navy blue, as well as the handle. So this one's nice. It has like more of like a 3D kind of print on it. So here is a close up. You can see those boars in front of Hogwarts. Super gorgeous. Really like this one as well. All right, next are gonna be some mugs from some random shops. So the first two are gonna be from fun.com. So this one is a Polyjuice 
Potion Cauldron Style Mug. It's got the cute little feet at the bottom. It's so cute. <laughs> and it does say from the Apothecarium of Horus EF Slughorn. So that is cool. And then the inside is red. So I like that it is a different color. I wish it was green. So more like Polyjuice Potion, but still really fun mug. And it does hold a lot. So I do use this one a lot too. So here is a close up of the Polyjuice Potion mug. There is nothing on this side though, only on this side. But if this was like a mug you wanted to display on a shelf and maybe you didn't like the logo, you could always have it just a cauldron on this side. So you do have options. Next is also from fun.com and it is my Phoenix mug and it's one of my favorites mostly because of the design. It's so gorgeous. I love it. It's super cute. This would be a great one to display as well. This one is on the smaller side so if you like your coffee black you would be good to go but if you like to put a lot of creamer in it it might not be enough room for you but it is so cute. I'm so happy to have this one in my collection. So this next one is from Out of Print and it is the Sorcerer's Stone book design that you would see on like the American editions. I think her name is Mary Grand Prey that did the designs and illustrations for these books and I love it. It's like this gray color and then it has these little speckles of gold. Harry Potter is also in this like gold foil and it does wrap around the entire mug and the inside is black as well as the handle and this one is pretty small I would say. I don't really gravitate to this one a lot. The bottom has that Harry Potter and out of print logo on it. I got this one when they were clearancing out their entire Harry Potter collection because they were getting rid of their Harry Potter licensing. So that's why I snagged up this one and I'm happy I did so because it is super cute and I'm happy to have it in my collection. Next is one that I got from Truffle Shuffle and it is a Hedwig mug. I use this one a lot too. It's super cute. It's a good size. It's not too big, but it's definitely not too small for my coffee as well. And it just has beautiful Hedwig on the front and in the back is the back side of Hedwig with an HP logo. Here is a close up of all the details and it's just white on the inside. I love this one. It's so cute. So you only see like the design, but it is like the entire owl on it. So it's like the back side of the owl as well. I love this one. So these are my two magical creature mugs and I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> Next is my book stack mug. So this one is from Books A Million, which is super fitting because they sell mostly books there, but they do have quite the Harry Potter collection as well. And I was so happy to find this one there just on a random trip and it has a little red bookmark on the side here and it has the Hogwarts logo and it says a, like the book title it just says Hogwarts and the rest are just kind of plain. I think oh I didn't even notice this one it has, has like the dark mark on it. That's cool and then this one has like a wand and then this one just has crowns. This one is a good size mug as well. I use this one a lot. I love it. Even with the shape is kind of weird on the top and the, it's very square cubed. <laughs> I still find it really easy to use. So if you were curious, I believe Books A Million still has this one. You might be able to find it online as well. But it's such a fun mug. This one would look great displayed on a bookshelf. But I don't know if you can see it's right here. The kind of dark mark. It's very hard to see. I didn't notice it before. Then there's the wand. Super super cute and it's just white on the inside and a brown handle. Next is a cauldron mug and this one has the Hogwarts crest on it and it just looks like a super cute cauldron. It's got little feetsies on this one as well and it's completely black other than the crest of course. Here is a close-up of this one and I did find this one at Home Goods, so I'm not really sure where you can find it. Maybe Amazon, maybe just a quick Google search for cauldron Harry Potter mugs. I'll see if I can find it as well and I'll leave a link to it in my description box. But I was so happy to be able to snag it up at Home Goods. Sometimes you can find some really great Harry Potter mugs at Home Goods, so always check them out. Or TJ Maxx. I always get the two confused, but they're like basically the same thing. This next one I also got at either Home Goods or TJ Maxx. It's a very simple mug. I don't gravitate towards these ones very often because I don't really care for the shape. I do have three of them in front of me. But if I were to get rid of ones, I probably would be getting rid of one mugs like these first to kind of fit in something else that's a little more fun and larger because these ones aren't that big. Back to the comparison with the Marauder's Map mug, like you can see this one is a lot bigger than this one. So I don't use these ones that often, 
but this one is just a Hogwarts crest designed mug but it has this really pretty gold glitter on the crest and on the other one as well and it's got a lot of the Hogwarts house crest in it as well it's like really faint and it's like kind of hard to see I don't know if it's gonna pick up and it's a purple mug but here is a close-up of this I don't know if you can tell but all this gold is glitter and then throughout oh I think you can see it now all the Hogwarts house crests on here so it is pretty fun even for like a simple design it's black on the inside and I think it was only like five dollars next was one that was gifted to me from my best friend and it is super pretty so that's probably why I won't ever get rid of it because if someone ever gives me a gift I don't like to get rid of them <laughs> and this one is also Hogwarts crest but it's got like all the Hogwarts house colors kind of splattered with paint and it's like a foiled color as well and it's on both sides and it does have a design on the inside it's blue but it has the Harry Potter logo so that makes it a lot more fun <laughs> so here is a close-up with this like rainbowed it's so pretty same with this side and then oh, there is that Hogwarts logo on the inside and then this next one is my baby Niffler mug so I love the design of it I don't like the shape but I love the design because I love baby Nifflers and it's part of the Fantastic Beasts Secrets of Dumbledore collection so here is a close-up of these cute baby Nifflers and then here is the Secrets of Dumbledore logo and it is that blue color on the inside as well as the handle I almost wish that there wasn't any white though on here so it didn't just look like a screen kind of print it just like wrapped around the mug entirely oh, it looks like there's a sticker residue on there but no worries <laughs> still really cute because I love baby nifflers and this one was from very Nico next is not a Harry Potter license mug but I do classify it as a Harry Potter mug because you'll see why <laughs> it's one I found at Target it was only five dollars they had it out I think around fall time fall Christmas time and it's an owl mug it's very cute I use this one a lot for hot cocoa and it's adorable I call it a Hedwig mug even though it's not licensed and it's only five dollars so maybe they'll come back out with it this fall or winter but you can't find it right now at Target but it is cute so I always keep my eyes peeled for things that like would fit for Harry Potter but aren't necessarily Harry Potter licensed you know still really cute love it all right we don't have too many left to go but the next ones are from some small shops so this first one is so cute it's kind of like a one-of-a-kind because she doesn't like mass produce them she does mostly like custom orders but I guess this custom order was a little bit of a mistake so she had it for sale on her Instagram and I DM'd her and I bought it but I think you can get them made like if you wanted this exact one she would make it again but it is so cute so it's on this simple white ceramic mug but it has a Hogwarts student on the front and she's got red hair she's got a little wand I know I just recently dyed my hair back to blonde which is my natural hair color but I was sporting red hair for like over a year and I was loving it so I thought it looked kind of like me as a Hogwarts student and I just think it's super adorable but here is a close-up of this mug super talented I don't drink out of this one I had this one displayed for a while it's been back in my mug cabinet but I just love having it in my collection you can use them I'm just afraid that I would ruin it I'll probably use it eventually <laughs> this would be more of like a hot cocoa or tea styled mug just because it is on the smaller side but it's super cute all right these next three I think they're considered like campfire styled mugs I think that's what the name are they're metal and these all came from a small shop which she's closed her small shop business for Harry Potter mugs and things like that but I was so happy to be able to snag these three they are all kind of the same just with little bits of different designs I will just go ahead and show you them so there is the Great Hall during Halloween there's the Great Hall with like Gryffindor flags like if they've won house cup or something and then we've got the great haul during Christmas time so let me give you a close-up of each one this one I did damage and it's unfortunate because I can't get it replaced sometimes you can see these pop up on like Mercari or eBay or whatever you know those kinds of third-party places but they are so cute I loved these designs here is the great haul during Christmas in the Great Hall during Halloween. This one's probably my favorite. I love it. 
These next two are from a subscription box, and I believe both of them are from Let Joy Crate. So this one is another one of those metal campfire mug styles, but this one is so cute. It says, worst camping trip ever. <laughs> so this one is when they're searching for whole cruxes. They do look pretty young in this, but it's super cute. I love it. I love the design. Here is that close up. You see Harry holding his golden snitch, trying to figure out that message, how to open it. Hermione looking through books. There's a tent in the background. It must be in the Forest of Dean or something. <laughs> this next one is one of my favorites. I just love the design. I'm really obsessed with the design. So it is Diagon Alley. And on this side has Gringotts with the Golden Trio on top of the dragon on top of Gringotts. Can you see them? so well detailed and then here are the rest of the shops and then even on the inside has the Hufflepuff cup so kind of resembling how it was inside of Gringotts like what that's so cute and it's got a little black rim so it has a fun shape to it love this one I use it somewhat frequently mostly for hot cocoa <laughs> All right, these next two are heat activated mugs. So I have two of these in my collection. This first one, you're not gonna be able to see anything. It's completely black, but if you put hot water or hot beverage in here, then you do see the Marauder's Map, which is really cool. So it's like, if you're using the Marauder's Map, then you can actually read it instead of it being like a blank parchment. So I like that effect on this mug. Here's a close up of it. I will insert a clip of me using some hot water so you can see the design and it'll come to life like magic. <laughs> and this next heat activated mug I got in a subscription box, Lit Joy Crate. You can see a little bit of the design without having a hot beverage in here, but most of it is going to appear with it. So this is what it looks like once I've added hot water to it and you can see the design and they all come to life. Love these fun mugs. Definitely have to use them when I'm drinking like a hot coffee or a hot cocoa, which I feel like I've been saying a lot because I do drink hot cocoa a lot around winter time. And I've made a hot butter beer as well. So these are fun for those. I just found two more mugs. So I think I said in the beginning of this video that I had 27 mugs. So this would make it 28, 29. Cause I have two that came from Charmed Aroma. So the first one is this really gorgeous copper colored mug. It's very reflective. It has the Hogwarts emblem on both sides. It's got a really fun handle. I think it's so cute. I haven't burned this one enough to be able to use it yet. It still has a lot of candle left. This one smells like better beer. <laughs> it's so good. But here is a close up. You can see I know there's a lot of reflection. You can see all my cameras and lights. <laughs> so it's hard to oh maybe like that. Super cute, love this one. I will burn through it eventually. I like to savor them as much as possible. But this next one is my Love Potion mug. It's adorable, so it looks like Love Potion. It has that on both sides. And on top of it being a super cute mug, it comes with this little lid. Like what? And it's got the little tassel, so it looks just like Love Potion. So here's a close up of this mug and the design is on both sides. Can't really tilt it, but it is black from like the flame. Hopefully it cleans out well. I'll keep you guys updated on it. Um, probably on Instagram as well, but to show you that it was easy to clean out and you can use that as mug, but we'll see <laughs> very soon. And yeah, those are both of my Charmed Aroma mugs. All right, those are actually all of my mugs. I have three teacups I wanna show you. So one, is my teacup set from the last Lit Joy Crate unboxing that I did for what was called the Tri Wizard Tournament box. And I had mine come damaged and I did get it replaced. I reached out to their support and I'm so happy that I did because the design is really pretty. And I was thinking, how many teapots do I need? But someone was like, I want to host a tea party. And I was like, that is super cute and you would have all these different style teapots and teacups so now I guess I'm collecting teapots and teacups because I want to have a tea party <laughs> and then here was that bottom one so it looks like they're in the black lake trying to save their friends 
and then here was the plate that came with it with Grindelows and Mer People. And then this next one is one I got from the Wizarding Trunk and it has the Grimm inside and it does look like a replica that Professor Trelawney would have had. So here's one with the blue flowers and they do sell one with the pink flowers in their shop. So I think that's pretty cool. I would like to add that one eventually in my collection, but here is a close up of that Grimm. I love how this one is really like all over the cup. Very cute. And then I do have a second Grimm. This is Lit Joy Crate's version of the cup. This one's got pink flowers on it and it has the Grimm, but much smaller on the bottom. And it does say, my dear, you have the Grimm around the inside of the teacup. And then this one did come with a plate to match. But how I display this one, I do display this one on my shelves. I sit this one like this and then I tilt this one out like so and I think it looks super cute on my shelves and you can kind of see the grim if you're walking by. So this one does go on my Prisoner of Azkaban shelf like so. And that was the last of all of my Harry Potter mugs that I have in my collection currently. I have a few that I actually have on order. I had some people pick them up at some shops so we'll be getting more soon. I have a problem. I will probably have to go through them eventually and get rid of some of the ones I don't use as often so they fit in my cabinet. And I do display some like the cauldron mug, this one. This one actually sits on my dark arts shelf. I think it's so cute. And then I have the like bone of the father that like pokes through it. I kind of have it sitting in there like that on top of some books. So I think that's cute. So you can display these, a lot of these because they are so cute. But yeah, that is my mug collection. Definitely let me know down in the comments below what your favorite mug was. If you have any of these in your collection as well, do you collect mugs? Do you just buy them to actually use them for your coffee? All of that good stuff. <laughs> Let's discuss it down in the comments. But as always, if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.